this girl more than what I could dream of. <laughs> I started RMA in my garage, actually, of all places, and then it just kind of blossomed from there. From his garage to a multi-million dollar company based in Rock Island, Blake Waldrop is changing the way our soldiers fight with his new body armor. If he gets shot a few times on the plate itself, uh, the plate will be able to keep up, uh, maintain its integrity. And what makes this plate stand out from the others you might see is its multi-section ceramic front. We broke it into 22, roughly 22 sections of the armor sewn around hits it. It only takes out that specific area of the armor itself and the rest of it still maintains integrity. Whereas other plates would have more cracks from enemy fire. Waldrop served in the Marines from 2001 to 2005 and lost a dear friend in Fallujah in 2005. And that's what got him thinking. How could, how could this be improved to prevent another incident happen like the one uh, where I lost my friend? So with some help, he started toying with the idea and now is making millions in sales. And while the drawdown will lighten the workload for some at the arsenal, this product is being made right at the Joint Manufacturing and Technology Center. I think it's a huge uh, pride issue to keep things here at home and keep it at the arsenal where we can keep uh, them working, keep the JMTC building our armor. Over the next year or so, Waldrop plans to keep rolling out more of the armor for our military and local law enforcement. Clay Lepard, CBS4 News.